Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the kitchen garden I've created using a wine cooler. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. This is my countertop garden I've created using Arduino and a wine cooler fridge. What I had before this was an Aero Garden hydroponic setup for doing countertop herbs and vegetables, and I just found it lacking. So I created this. What I took was a Coolatron 8 bottle wine cooler, and I converted it to grow vegetables or greens or anything I desired using soil or any other media not being restricted like the commercial units out there. So in here I've got some basil growing. This is completely overgrown. We need to trim this back so I can start another crop in the bottom. I'll show you guys the basics of how this is set up. So through this door you can see the basil growing, but you can note the extreme amount of light coming from above. What I used is these LED spotlights I got from Amazon. The brand on these is shown as a Jackie LED 2-pack 27 watt 6500 Kelvin. Uh, I think I paid $59.99 for two of them and I hacked the one apart and put it in the top here. Let's go ahead and pull the basil out. So if we get this basil out of here. Yeah, it really needs a trim guys. Isn't that nuts? What I did is I took uh, that light and gutted it and stuck the LEDs to an aluminum heat sink and added a fan. Gen 2 of this setup would ventilate this outside and not have the heat remain inside the chamber. That's my biggest enemy. In the back here is the Peltier junction and fan setup. That is original from the fridge. I just hacked the supply and you can see in the corner I have a DHT11 temp and humidity sensor. That's it for the internals. Up on top here you can see the controls. What I have is a basic Nokia 5110 dirt cheap LCD, a real time clock, an Arduino Nano, and what I have up here currently is my soil uh, moisture sensor. I pulled it out of the back for ease of routing right now. Time of day, lights are fully controllable uh, depending on how long of a light cycle you want. Temperature is fully controllable using the cooling cycle. We just use the Peltier on board to cool it and we monitor our soil monitoring. Anytime there's an alarm, uh, which case uh, right now I have temp set up, if there's an alarm, it'll actually tell us and flash the backlight. I'll see if I can simulate that here. Take some freeze spray and spray the DHT11 sensor. With any luck, that should get awfully cold pretty fast. And there, we're down and it's hard to pick up on the camera, but you can see the backlight is flashing. So now that we know that there is an alarm, you can have an audible alert or whatever and take action accordingly. In this case, in the future and in previous builds, I used a H-bridge to control the Peltier on board so I can switch it over to heating as well. I've removed that function for the current build because I found it wasn't necessary at this time. So basically this is going to come back up to temperature, uh, the humidity is going to come back into a decent range, and it'll resume normal operation. If we get too hot, it's going to cool off the chamber accordingly. Everything works fantastic here, guys. I'm really thrilled with this setup. Uh, it, it does what I wanted it to do. Let's go back to the front. So back to the front side here, guys. I'll show you what I've got to do here. What I end up doing is trimming the basil back, taking today's harvest, and we'll go ahead and put it away and we'll start a new harvest. So what we got off of that is a whole bowl full of fresh basil. I'll set that aside. I'll show you what else we can do with this. We can set our rack back in here. Set our basil back in. Get that sort of situated. Normally I have a a flat top for it to sit on but I forgot to bring it down and then what I do is I take these trays from Boston Pizza if you're uh, local to a Boston Pizza or any kind of tray you can find like this and this is what I start microgreens in you just wet this paper towel you've got a nice clear dome top on it plenty of light comes around set that in the bottom and we're growing microgreens like bean sprouts and all kinds of good stuff for salad. Works fantastic. I simply love this setup. 
Yeah, a little underutilized with just a basil plant in there, but as you can tell, I let that overgrow significantly. Uh, upcoming videos, guys, I'm going to share how to make this, how to put the circuit together. I'll share the code with you. Hopefully this can help someone. I really, really love this setup. I truly do. Um, it, it's really, really easy to add other things like this. I had a peristaltic pump here that I actually had up for automated watering of the plants indoors according to the soil moisture. Uh, I found it unnecessary for me and uh, it was just more bulk that I was able to trim down the Arduino size, but I may add this back on and go with a, a larger microcontroller and do full humidity control as well. I uh, use an ultrasonic fountain mister to bring in humidity so you can grow stuff just like you're in a rainforest if you wanted. Guys, good luck in all your electronics ventures. I hope this helps someone someday. I hope you build an indoor garden, grow your own food. It's truly enjoyable, it truly makes a difference, at least for you and your family. Fresh herbs, fresh produce is just awesome. Don't forget to click a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Good luck in all your ventures.